Hey, this is Kay Rill, reporting live from Silver Mountain Sports Club and Spa, and this is Train for Longevity. Now today, I'm going to demonstrate another awesome bodyweight exercise that incorporates the upper and lower body, the core, and more importantly, it really activates the brain too, also known as neurological load. There's going to be a lot of three-dimensional movements going on here, and this is going to be a very complex movement. Now don't get me wrong, push-ups are fine, lunges are fine, squats are fine, sit-ups, crunches, plank holds, all fun stuff. All will build strength, and they're all body weight. However, they could get boring after a while, and they could get mundane, and there's not much three-dimensional action going on. And I love three-dimensional movements because they recruit a lot more muscle fiber, and they also incorporate a lot more brain function too. So I like to work the brain as much as I do the body. That's why I'm such a genius. Just joking. Anyway, what we're gonna do is called a crisscross crawl. So I'm gonna show you the plain version of it, and then I'm gonna show you the highlighted version. Now, here's how it starts. I'm gonna get into a quadruped position on the ground. Your hands are directly under your shoulders, knees are directly under your hips. And now what we're gonna do is pop our knees up off the ground. See, knees off the ground. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move our opposite hand and foot forward, but our foot is gonna make a circular motion and it's gonna wrap around our leg, otherwise known as a crisscrossing pattern. So here's what it looks like. Right foot comes up, so my left hand will go forward. See this? Right leg goes around, I just crisscrossed. Now I'm gonna go right hand, left foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. See that? And then we can go in reverse. When we go in reverse, we'll start with the front leg, doing the action first. Left leg wraps around as the right hand comes back. Left hand comes back as the right leg wraps around. Right, left, left, right. Are you with me so far? Great. I knew because you guys are all very, very intelligent people. Okay, now I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker so you know what it looks like in motion, and then I'm going to show you the variation. Woo, we're breaking a sweat already. That was to Betsy. Okay, here we go. This is our crisscross crawl. Crawl. Oh, that was a little sloppy. It's okay to have a sloppy one every now and then. We're only human, right? Crawl. 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 Reverse. Crawl. Backwards. This is fun, just like Sesame Street, remember? Okay, good. Now, we can add a little element to this to get a little bit more upper body recruitment. What we're gonna do is a little push up every single time we do a crisscross crawl forward. So that would be like this. Lift your knees, crisscross, little push up, push up, push up. Now we'll go reverse. Reverse. So we throw a little push-up in there, it's going to activate a little bit more of our pectorals, our chest, and our triceps. Remember those triceps? Like Lou Ferrigno back in the day, baby. That's what it's all about. Okay, so there you have it. There's your crisscross crawl. I want you to go practice it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. This is Train for Longevity. Please like and share our videos, subscribe to our page, and my name is Kay Rail, reporting live from Silver Mountain Sports Club and Spa. If you have any questions, let me know. In the meantime, Go do some crisscross crawling. Go out and do it in the snow if you got any. Have some fun. Let me know how you do. Till next time.